Well everyone, welcome to the Svengali Memorial Ride 2016 from White Waste Cafe over to Camber Sands. Um, <laughs> as luck would have it, the bike's been playing up. I think my battery's about knackered, so I'm having to get by with bump starting it. Hopefully, the first leg will be enough to uh, give the battery enough charge that I won't need to bump start it again today. I'll break up the rear. It's probably a bad idea me going at the back actually because if, <laughs> if my engine stops <laughs> and I can't get it going again. And R Rich has got my jump leads. <laughs> ah, we'll be all right, we'll be fine. It's all part of the fun breaking down, isn't it? Worst case scenario, I have got breakdown cover, so we are good. Right, the six of us. Nice turnout. We've had more in the past, but I mean, that's, that's not it really. The main thing is getting together uh, to ride in Sven's memory, which is what we do every year. Now, if you're watching this and you're not sure who we're talking about, I'll put a link in the description, of course, to Sven Gali's channel. He was a motor vlogger, uh, quite an early motor vlogger, probably, uh, it was, I, I dare say, he was, he was probably the first British motor vlogger or certainly one of the first and he sadly passed away in 2012 uh, so every year Rich organizes these uh, these ride outs and this year I've got the honor of wearing one of the t-shirts so leading the pack is Richie behind him is S Moto Dan uh, behind him is I can't remember his name but he has been on uh, the he was on the ride last year the winter ride and behind him, I think, is a guy called Andy on a Triumph Sprint 1050. Very nice. And then in front of me is Ryan O'Neill. So the plan is we're he heading off from Whiteways and we're going over to the Devil's Dyke, which is just north of Brighton. I'm going to stop there for a bit, take in the views. And then from there, we're going to make our way along the, uh, along the county of East Sussex. Uh, we've got a fuel stop in Heathfield and then onto the final leg to Camber Sands, which will be going via Rye and some other little places. I'm kind of hoping I've found the cause of the battery issue actually, because uh, at Whiteways I did take the seat off and have a look and uh, the terminal, the, the positive terminal, was very loose. I've tightened it back up, hopefully uh, that will be the end of my issues. And but to be fair, I've not changed the battery on this bike and I've had it for over three years, so it's probably due for a change. For all I know, it's the original battery. Well, this is nice. <laughs> oh, Rich! <laughs> We needed, we needed to go straight on at that roundabout. Yeah, slight cock up in the direction of the department there. We, uh, we nearly ended up back at Whiteways. <laughs> All right, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Right, new leader. <laughs> he suggested that he knows a pretty route, so um, I'll let him lead. 
because it's probably a little bit better than the one we've got planned. It's good when you've got someone who uh, knows a bit more of the local roads. They know all the little secret, uh, the little secret ways. Ah, left. So yeah, here we would have been going right and then down into Shoreham and then onto the A27 and through the uh, Southwick Tunnel and then up to Devil's Dyke. But uh, I imagine the roads this way are a bit prettier. Cyclist down. Ah, oh, bit of excitement already. Yeah, cyclist down. He's not too, not too badly hurt. There's an ambulance on the way, so uh, one of our guys is staying with him. He clearly knows. Uh, he clearly knows what he's doing when it comes to first aid and stuff. Uh, so he's going to stay with him, wait for the ambulance, and uh, meet us up at Devil's Dyke, which is just down the road. If I can get my bike started. Bollocks. I'm going to need a push. <laughs> no, it's not even trying. So I think uh, the battery's definitely had it. Bump. Good one! Nice one, Dan. Big strong lad. Why am I out of breath? I've done anything. <laughs> so yeah, the guy wasn't too bad. I did have a first. I've got a first aid kit with me. I'm kind of glad I bought it actually. Not that they needed it, but it's good to know that uh, that we're prepared. Yeah, one of the important things about a roadside incident is not to crowd people, uh, and you know. It can be really, uh, really distressing. It can make them worse. So, yeah, in a situation like that, just uh, if they've got someone who clearly knows what they're doing with first aid, then just leave it to them. Time for another bump start. I'd like it in second gear, but it's just refusing to go in. I'll have to do it in first. Right, so we just had a bit of a stop at Devil's Dyke, and now we're, yep, yeah, we're gonna push on and uh, head to the next stop, which is uh, petrol station in Heathfield. Yeah, even after that long ride here, it wasn't enough to charge my battery up, and uh, it doesn't sound like it's got any more charge in it. Um, so it seems that I have a charging issue, which is not ideal. <laughs> But Raven doesn't give up that easily. As long as there's room to bump start, we'll be all right. Bloody thing. <laughs> Engine's not really warmed up enough.
The road we wanted to go on is closed because of cyclists. Looks like we might have to just take the A27 to Lewis and go that way. Bugger. That's going to make it a bit less exciting. Africa to win. Give us a go. <laughs> so yeah, because of the uh, it's the London to Brighton cycling nonsense today, so we've had to take a different route. Um, there is there is an upside. I mean, this is quite nice. And uh, oh look, a tunnel. Hey. Uh, that was Ryan O'Neill. stopping here instead. So there we go, Wesson's Cafe, proper biker's cafe that is, nice burger. I'll remember that in future, that's quite a nice, uh, nice place to stop off out on a ride. Right, so we're on the final leg over to Camper Sands now. Yeah, slight change of plan, we were originally going to be stopping at a petrol station, um, but I think Ryan O'Neill needed fuel sooner than we were going to get there so we stopped at a different one and then stopped off at there for some lunch which was nice so yeah now we're off to Camber Sands and uh, it's a really nice day now sun's out and uh, it's warming up nicely unfortunately two riders have had to uh, head off home Esmo Odan left us from uh, Devil's Dyke and then the other guy, I, I forgot his name because I'm an idiot, um, but I'm going to refer to him as the doctor because he's a doctor and uh, it was useful to have him on the ride when we come across that down cyclist. Good to have someone who knows what they're doing in uh, situations like that. So yeah, he's had to go off as well. So now it's just the four of us. Just coming into Rye now. Uh, that means we're almost there, really. Uh, just about another, what, seven or eight miles from here, once we get through the town. I think. Something like that, anyway. Ooh. Plymouth. Yeah, it's been a good ride. So far, almost there now. Oh, I know where we are. I have been here before, a few years ago. <laughs> Gorillas! Quite windy on this uh, flatland. <laughs> no wonder they built a wind farm over there. Here we are at Camber. Not sure how long my battery's got left, actually. We are still recording, which is good. Yep, sand dunes. Static caravans, amusement places, pontins, might as well be in Skegness. <laughs> oh yeah, wind. <laughs> Strong winds. Go 
gosh, look at the kite surfers. Loads of them. Uh, it's, no, it's not this car park, it's further on. I think we've come a bit far. There was one there, but I'm sure that there was another one because um, it was like literally on the beach. There was no um, dune or anything. Yeah, I think it must have been that one where all the kite surfing was. Oh, yeah, we're well out. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we went past it, but it didn't look anything like it did on uh, Google Street View. So I thought it was a bit further down this way. And of course, the we, we seem to be getting further away from the coast. No, so back that way. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Svengali ride if we didn't get lost. Correction, if I didn't get us lost. Oh. Yeah, I got confused because um, on Google Street View, the car park is on the beach and it's, it's literally beach... Uh, well, car park, gravelly car park, beach, sea. Uh, the one we went past, which seems to be in the right place, uh, was car park, but then a big, like, sun, well, not sun dune, but a big, I don't know, some kind of mound before the beach. So I didn't think it was that one. So I thought it was further down the road, and of course, got a bit further down the road, and we started getting further away from the coast. So clearly, I got it wrong. Yeah, they've changed it, haven't they? They've uh, raised it and put a concrete, uh, concrete barrier along the top. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. <laughs> it looks quite thick. Thick gravel and some water for good measure. Yeah, this is very new, <laughs> by the looks of it. That's why we went wrong. Right, it's time to head off. It's been a great day out. Get to do some uh, off-roading. <laughs> yeah, I've just been here at uh, Camber Sands watching the uh, the wind surfers. There's bloody thousands of them. <laughs> they're almost, almost as bad as the cyclists. They're everywhere. At least here they're out to sea. <laughs> so yeah, time to head off home now. We'll be going our separate ways very shortly. So. Uh, just leaves me to say a big thanks to everyone who turned up today. We've had a really good day. Uh, it's not quite gone as well as uh, expected, but actually some of the detours we've had to do haven't really been a problem. In fact, it's kind of been better in some ways. Well, the bike started up fine this time. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, uh, it must have been the ride here, must have been longer than uh, any other of the legs we've done today. So uh, it probably had just enough to uh, put some juice in the battery. So anyway, I'll sign it off there, and uh, if anything else happens on uh, the way back, I'll include it at the end here if it's worth it. So thanks to everyone that's turned up today. It's been uh, a pretty awesome day. So a uh, big thanks to Rich for organising it, uh, and thanks, of course, to Ryan O'Neill, Esmoto Dan, Andy, and the Doctor for uh, turning up and riding with us today. And, of course, thanks to you lot for watching. 
be sure to check out Svengali's channel. He did do some pretty good videos and uh, they're all still up there on YouTube. So uh, have a look at the link in the description. And uh, yeah, have a look through some of them, some of them videos, all good stuff. Right, thanks for watching everyone, ride safe, and see you on the next video. Uh, I missed the turn. <laughs> I missed the turn, so I go around at the roundabout, and it's, uh, oh shit, it's this way. <laughs> it's that one. Oh, f now. Oh, for God's sake. The plan was to go left at the end here. <laughs>